All right, we're going to get started. So if all of you can grab a seat and get comfortable. Uh, my name is Jeff Brickman. I'm president and CEO for Provena St. Joseph Medical Center. And welcome to one of the last dedications from our original master facility plan, uh, this time for our healing garden. And if all of you who were with us in that journey a long time ago, we began May 24th, 2005. It was my, I'm trying to think, my 25th wedding anniversary when we were uh, receiving final state approval for the building of our master facility plan, which you now see with our West Tower and our healing garden around us. And a lot of our advanced work, we really uh, talked about a very comprehensive healing approach. And so we're gonna spend a little time talking about our, our dedication of our healing garden today. But first, before they do that, I just want to recognize a couple of uh, very uh, special people who are with us. We have uh, representatives from our divisional board, our foundation board, our founding Franciscan Sisters of the Sacred Heart. Let's give all of those folks a round of applause, please. There's a rumor that we have a number of our elected officials, usually Larry Walsh, never misses an event and has not over the last five years, so I know Larry will probably join us sometime uh, during today's ceremony. But as I said, uh, a lot of what we focused on when we began our uh, master facility project was really redesign how healthcare is delivered locally. And a large part of what we were trying to do was to mirror our mission to create uh, healthier communities, uh, to really go beyond the natural dimensions of healthcare and to include hol holistic elements and spiritual elements in the design of healthcare. And what you see in our healing garden is a very quiet and contemplated place for our patients and members of their families to go and uh, find that quiet moment in what is a very, very stressful period of their, of their lives where they can decompress, get centered, and really think about the challenges ahead of them. And when you really take a look at what's been created out of just uh, nothing over the last several months and try to picture forward as a lot of our plantings take bloom and really uh, enrich over the next one or two years, this will become a very special and very important central piece of our medical center and that of our mission. Now, of course, an undertaking like this cannot be done uh, without a lot of help. And there are a number of people that we would like to recognize for their major contributions to today's event. So let's uh, start with a number of those folks. We'd like to recognize uh, the Hitchcock Design Group, Pepper Construction, many of our local contractors who helped incorporate all the elements we sought to turn our healing garden into reality. Let's give those folks a round of applause. <clears throat> Number of people who have been with us from the beginning, Pepper Construction has been uh, just a, a major, major partner right from the very beginning, uh, from that May 24, 2005 date right up until now. Uh, one of the key partners on the ground for them was uh, Ruben Raimondo. Where's Ruben? Ruben, stand up and be recognized. Tim St. Clair from our project management team. Tim, were you hiding? Tim, wave your hand again. These are the guys who actually made the project happen. A lot of the guys in suits, they, we look to these guys to make it happen and they certainly did a great job on our behalf. In addition to that, one of the major goals in terms of fundraising to make this project a reality is we reached out uh, to our employees and to our women's auxiliary and they uh, more than met the challenge. Uh, I'd like to again recognize our Women's Auxiliary for meeting and exceeding their challenge of $750,000 that they've raised as well as our employees in, in meeting their goal of $50,000. Let's give them a round of applause as well. And to spend a little bit of time really talking about what our Women's Auxiliary did in recognition of today, I'd like to call our current president, Carolyn Embody and our treasurer, Pat Andreessen, to come forward to say a few words at this time. So, Carolyn and Pat. Thank you, Jeff. 
Marge Class is going to join us. Thank you for coming to this dedication today to dedicate this beautiful garden that we're all going to enjoy for years to come. On behalf of the Women's Auxiliary, we are so pleased to have been a key part of helping to bring this beautiful healing garden to fruition. Under the leadership of immediate past president Sue Wright and past co-presidents Pat Andreessen and Marge Quas, the net proceeds from the Dove's Nest gift shop and the Auxiliary's numerous fundraisers, which have supported this project over the past five years, have brought renewed interest, renewed energy, and new members to the Women's Auxiliary. The Auxiliary is now celebrating its 55th year of helping to support key needs of the Medical Center. I would like to recognize the leadership of Pat Andreessen and Marge Quas, who were both co-presidents of the Auxiliary when this pledge was signed. And we would also like to thank the administration, the employees, and all the boards, and the whole community for the support they gave us, because without all this help, we would never have accomplished our goal. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, March. Uh, before I ask Reverend Jewell to come forward and uh, provide us the formal dedication uh, and blessing. I'd like to invite our Vice Chairman of our Foundation Board, J.D. Ross, to come forward with a few words. J.D. Thank you very much, Jeff. On behalf of Gloria Dollinger, our Chairperson and the Foundation Board, we want to thank all of you for your support. This garden is an example of the strong culture of philanthropy here at the Medical Center. I would like to again recognize the auxiliary, all the employees, the community donors, and a special thank you to Terry Darcy, who generously donated all of the topsoil for this garden. Terry? While this garden will continue to grow with perennials and furniture will be added next spring, we wanted to dedicate it today so that it could be enjoyed this fall. And now I'll ask Reverend Jewell to come forward for the dedication. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, who commanded his disciples to heal the sick and to relieve suffering, be with you all. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, curing every disease and sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. Let us pray in humility to our Lord for this garden and for those who will come here saying, hear our prayer. For this healing garden, that its beauty may be a reflection of the beauty of God's love for the whole human family, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For this healing garden, that in the midst of the pain and the suffering of this world, it may be a sign of the joy and the life that is eternal. Lord, in your mercy. For those who visit this garden, that they may experience here and in all of their lives, the deep compassion and healing peace which comes from Christ, Lord, in your mercy. For those who will pass through this garden on their way to work, for those who have contributed to its construction, for those who built it, for those who will maintain it in the years to come, for all gathered here today and for our entire community, Lord, in your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray. 
trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless this garden, O Lord, set aside for the healing and refreshment of our patients, our visitors, and our staff. Grant that all who pass this way may be renewed in body, mind, and spirit. And to you be given all honor and glory in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. And Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit keep you in his light and truth and love now and forever. Amen. You are all invited to tour the garden, and then there are refreshments that are available inside and just to your right. Thank you for being with us today.